Good afternoon, Lennart. Thank you for joining us. So perhaps if you could just tell us a bit about Aimpoint and uh, what the company does. Aimpoint is a Swedish company and it's the uh, originator of the Red Dot site technology. Uh, the company was founded back in 1975 and for the first 15 years in the life of the company we had only uh, competitive shooters and hunters as our customers. At least that is what the company believed. But now we know that professional users like uh, elite military forces and uh, police forces used our site very early on. So before you were talking about your presentation was titled The Future in Sight. If perhaps you could summarize that for us. Well, The Future in Sight is really our slogan. Uh, it's, uh, we've used that sentence since way back and uh, we're going to use it for a long time as well. What I mean is also that this is the future in optical sites, of course. And uh, uh, what we have today is products like the Comp M4, which is called the M68 Close Combat Optic when used by the US Army, uh, and sight system for larger weapons like heavy machine guns. Uh, this is called the MPS-3, uh, intended for those heavier weapons. And you were saying as well that magnification is really to, something to avoid and that's absolutely necessary and what you provide is, is different and, and better. How so? Well, I, I claim that magnification doesn't make you a better shooter. Uh, magnification doesn't bring your breathing or trigger control to a higher level. But for some uh, missions like a, a sniper mission, to have magnification is, is the only way to do it. But for the normally uh, for the normal infantryman, the non-magnified uh, reflex sight is uh, a better option. And specifically, uh, you were as well talking about uh, the myth that the um, iron sight that people typically use uh, gives you uh, better freedom of vision uh, because it do uh, people argue that the red dot covers up the target after a certain point. Well, that. You're absolutely right, Dan. That, that is a, a myth which is spread and based on the fact that people haven't tried our product. Because if you take the front post of an iron sight, the width of the red dot is only one eighth of, of that uh, width of the front post. So it's much easier to shoot accurate with the red dot than to shoot accurate with the, the iron sight. And um, I'm intrigued to know about you, uh, how it works in terms of head position because I know that uh, there was a uh, you were talking before about parallax and, uh, and issues like that since it's not um, magnified it means that there is no focal plane there is no eye relief so I can hold my head very close or I can hold my head far away it doesn't matter it's a sharp image I see the real world I see the red dot as an overlay to that real world uh, and when I look through it, I don't have to center the dot. The dot can be anywhere inside the lens area. As long as I can see it, that's where I'm going to hit. And also there was a particularly unique uh, mounting mechanism you were talking about before, which we actually couldn't get to see. So I was hoping, I'm gonna be entirely selfish and ask if you can demo how that works. It's this piece, it's called the twist mount. And it consists of an interface to the uh, mill standard uh, NATO accessory rail or a picketing rail, and uh, on the other, uh, at the other end, it's this interface, and it's called a twist mount for obvious reasons. I put it on, I twist, and now it's locked in position. This is the three times magnifier, but you can put like a backup iron sight in the same interface, or you can put uh, a shoot around the corner device, left corner, right corner. Or you can put this piece on a night vision goggle, a PVS-14, and you have that on the helmet mount, you take it off, you snap it on as quickly as that, and you're all lined up to shoot through the night vision goggle. Well, thank you very much. It was a very uh, impressive demo, and uh, I look forward to seeing more from you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dan.